Frank Salemi was the boss of the Patriarcha crime family from 1992 up until 1996. Frank first made his start in the Patriarcha crime family during the 1960s. Frank was first introduced to the crime family by one of its members, Anthony Morelli, who he met while serving a prison sentence in 1957. Anthony Morelli would go on to introduce Frank Salemi to Raymond Patriarcha Sr. They formed a great relationship, but Raymond Sr. would never officially induct him into the crime family, because Frank wasn't a full Italian, he was mixed with Irish. But that wouldn't stop Frank from becoming the boss of the Patriarcha crime family in 1992. But until then, during the 1960s, Frank also formed an alliance with the Winter Hill Gang member Whitey Bulger, and he paired up with his associate Stefan Filemi. Frank Salemi was an active participant in the Boston Irish Mob War. It lasted from 1961 up until 1968. Frank allegedly took part in murdering eight mobsters of the rival Charlestown Mob. In 1967, the Patriarcha crime family had a hitman that turned government witness. His name was Joseph Barboza, also known as Joe the Animal. Joseph Barboza was responsible for killing a total of 26 people. He would enter into the witness protection program after he testified against Raymond Patriarcha Sr. and many of his associates. Frank Salemi and Vincent Filemi planted a bomb in Joseph Barboza's attorney's car. His name was John Fitzgerald. John survived the bombing, but lost his left leg. And for Barboza, he would later be shot dead in San Francisco in 1976, after his whereabouts became known to the Patriarcha underboss, Gerardo Angulo. He relocated to San Francisco. His location found on February 11th of 1976. He walks out of his house and is greeted with uh, four shotgun blasts. And it's, it's an unsolved murder, although it's believed that uh, J.R. Russo, who was a, a member of the New England Mafia, was, was one of the trigger men, of, or at least set the, the killing in motion. Following the car bombing, Frank Salemi and Vincent Filemi left Boston. They first drove to Chicago, then took a flight to Los Angeles, and then they would head back to New York City, where they would spend the next four years in hiding. The feds finally caught Frank in 1972. Frank was found guilty of attempted murder and sentenced to 16 years in prison in June 1973. Frank Salemi was released from prison in February 1986 after serving 13 years out of his 16-year sentence. And after serving that long sentence, Frank was finally inducted into the Patriarcha crime family. At the time, Gerardo Angelo was the underboss of the Patriarcha crime family. He was convicted of racketeering and he was sentenced to 45 years in prison. Frank Salemi and many other of Gerardo Angelo's underlings attempted to fill the the position. This resulted in an internal war within the Patriarcha crime family. Frank's main rival was another capo named Joseph Russo. Joseph Russo and his faction nearly took Frank's life on June 16, 1989. One gunman performed a drive-by with an assault rifle, hitting Frank in the stomach and knee. After the attempt on his life, Frank Salemi hid out in California until it was safe to return home. The war ended after John Gotti, the boss of the Gambino crime family, was called in to broker a peace meeting between Joseph Russo and Raymond Patriarcha Jr. The treaty consisted of Raymond Jr. making Joseph Russo consigliere and inducting a new wave of members, but Frank was left out of the picture. However, the new family hierarchy wouldn't last too long. Raymond Jr. went to prison and Frankie Salemi ended up taking the family over. And they called him a pseudo boss. Nobody really wanted him there. My father was with him. So I just fell in line under Frankie. And by 1992, Frank Salemi became the boss. One of Frank's first policies as boss was promoting his brother John Salemi up to a capo. He also took his son Frank Jr. under his wing and made him a soldier within the crime family. He restructured the family as best as he could, which would lead to a multitude of killings coming from a faction of soldiers dissatisfied with Frank Salemi's leadership. Frank would murder a total of 16 disobedient mobsters between the years 1992 to 1996. In 1994, Frank Salemi received information that a racketeering indictment charging him, along with his old allies Whitey Bulger and Stefan Filemi, was to be served. He went on the run for seven months, and in 1995, he was extradited back to Boston. He pled guilty to racketeering charges in 1999, and he was sentenced to 11 years in imprisonment. One year after his sentence, he decided he wanted to become a government witness. So Frank Salemi would only have to serve two years in prison, and he was released in 2003, and he would later go into the witness protection program. All the mafia is at war with each other in New England in the late 80s and early 90s is the whole Whitey Bulger story, where you have Whitey Bulger of the Winter Hill Gang, is informing to the feds. So the feds are on top of everything that's going on with the mafia in New England and federal uh, efforts against organized crime really start decimating by the late 90s the, the membership of the New England mafia, both in Boston and Providence as well. 
Cadillac Frank Salemi, who's the boss for a time. He becomes an informant. You have other guys turned. You just don't have the, the caliber of leadership. There's no Raymond Patriarcha, you know, that emerges. The Patriarcha family, between the FBI and some informants, it kept breaking the family down. And they were having a hard time rebuilding. Backtracking to 1996, the crime family needed a new boss, and that man was ready to take over. Hey, thanks for watching this clip. This clip came from my documentary series about the rise and fall of the American Mafia. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to watch each episode as they come out.